Hi everyone! Today, we are going to talk about protein binding bites. So, how many of you know what those are? Areas where anything can bind to the protein? Yes, you are right! It's a cavity on protein where molecules like ligands can bind to because it is important for the function of the protein. It can activate or inactivate the protein. Did you know that binding sites are formed when proteins are folded in their native state? Yes, the amino acids actually come together to form the binding sites and they are mostly hydrophobic. Now, let's look at a few types of binding sites. Protein ligand, protein protein, protein small molecule and protein DNA. Look here at how protein ligand interacts. It is through the formation of non-covalent bonds. Let's look at protein-protein interactions now. Wow, it's also formation of non-covalent bonds between the protein binding site and another protein. Protein-small molecules interactions occur because sometimes protein needs assistance to perform its function. Hemoglobin, for example, needs iron in order for it to function. Protein DNA binding can occur when there is interaction between the negatively charged DNA and positive charges on the protein binding site. So, interaction relies on non-covalent bonding through the side chains of amino acid residues. Let's look at the steps of protein binding. Now it's time to look at some factors which affect protein binding. How is it we determine protein binding sites? Experimental and bioinformatic methods. You're right! Let's have a closer look. Okay, now it's time for us to see the biological significance of binding sites. Let's see now the application of protein binding sites. Hope these videos have made you understand more about protein binding sites. Until we see each other again, have a nice day. Bye!